we called this press conference for the purpose of announcing that additional charges have been filed against Paul Canero this morning, and he's been served with those charges while he's detained at the Monmouth County Correctional Institute here in Freehold. We have charged defendant Canero with four counts of murder, one count of aggravated arson, one count of possession of a firearm for an unlawful purpose, and one count of possession of a knife for an unlawful purpose. These charges that were filed this morning are in addition to the charge that was filed last week out of Ocean Township for the alleged aggravated arson of the defendant's own home. And by filing these charges, the state alleges that the defendant murdered his brother Keith Canero and Keith's entire family. Specifically, we allege that the defendant repeatedly shot and killed his brother while he was outside of the side of his home and then moved to murder the rest of the family inside the home. We allege that Jennifer was shot and stabbed and the two Canero children were repeatedly stabbed by knife. We also allege that after murdering the Canero family, the defendant then set fire to the house at 15 Willowbrook in Colts Neck in an effort to conceal and disguise his earlier committed crimes. We also allege that the defendant returned to his house in Ocean Township with certain items of evidence that he retained from the Colts Neck crime scene. And I can't find, provide any further description as to that type of evidence because of the ethical and legal rules that constrain us. From there, we allege the defendant intentionally set fire in his home at or about 5 a.m. for the purpose of both destroying evidence of his earlier crimes in Colts Neck and to also create the illusion that the overall Canero family was somehow victimized or targeted. We allege that it was a ruse. Based on our investigation to date, we believe that the defendant's motive was financial in nature, stemming from his and the victim's joint business ventures that, own, that they owned and operated out of Asbury Park. As a result, we have also launched, launched a financial investigation into the business and financial dealings of the defendant. 